Good, how are you? Wonderful. I'm gonna say you must live over here if you're on that side of the fence. No. Oh, no? No, no, sir. These hedge funds were shorting GameStop. We're gonna f their whole system up. This one's off limits? Okay. What is up, gang? Welcome back. We are doing some exploring today. I'm fishing in a city I haven't fished in in a while, or maybe not, just an area of the city at least. Never hit this place. Pretty big pond. We're going to be doing some bank fishing today. I've got maybe four or five combos with me. Probably just carry one or two. We shall see. The water looks super clear on Google Images, Google Maps, I should say, but it doesn't seem as clear from where I'm standing at the moment. I forgot my polarized glasses. It is what it is. Uh, we're fishing right next to a school and school has just let out. It literally took me like 30 minutes to get into this parking spot from like a quarter mile away because, you know, they're doing the school thing. So let's see if we can't get over here, catch some fish. There's an awesome point over here, little breeze. I might go over here. Anyways, we're doing nothing fancy, fishing with nothing specific. Maybe just gonna break out a few different baits, see what works best for this pond, if anything. We got a few hours before sunset, so we have some time today to maybe put something together as opposed to me just getting out half an hour before sunset and trying to fish with one specific bait. So let's see what happens. The water's here. Let's get the GoPro on and start fishing. All right, there we go. I got a handful of stuff in the backpack today. Opted for three combos. We got the fluke, the swim bait, and the Texas rig. Yesterday morning, it was like 28 degrees when I woke up today. It's actually almost 60, so it's feeling pretty good out. Look, here's a drain with some wind flowing this way. Maybe push some smaller bait this direction. Let's start in this corner real quick so I can see it gets really shallow, and then there's kind of a deep little bowl right here. I'm gonna toss in the Texas rig in this deep pocket, see if there's anything hanging out in the shallows. Okay, nothing in the corner, let's move it down. Okay, so it is not the clearest water you've ever seen. I'm thinking something like a lipless or maybe a spinner bait, but I'm gonna creep around this swim bait here for a minute. Definitely enough visibility to see this from a foot away or something. Hmm, maybe, oh, we have got the clickbait. I don't think this fluke is gonna be too effective today, so let's take this off. A rattle from a lipless would be pretty good, but I don't know if I have one on me. Spinner bait could also be very effective, but I think I can work this through here a little bit faster, cover some water and maybe locate where the fish are at in the pond. Clickbait it is. Now what I can do is circle this place quickly, and if they're not hidden here, we can make a move to another pond. That sounds more my style. Depending on your trailer, you could represent a crawfish. It's looking like this is kind of a muddy bottom, so I'd put like a crack and crawl on here as a trailer in some cases, but I've already got a saucy swimmer rigged up here. This is a 3.3 inch on the back of the black and blue color, perfect for this mid-level clarity water. I'm just gonna walk this place, cast kind of parallel to the bank. I wonder if people are catching fish over here. I'm gonna hop on Fish Brain app and see if there is some large catches just to boost my confidence. There's a lot of catches right down the street. Dang, I might need to go hit one of these ponds. All right, let me see here. There's definitely people catching fish right here. Come on, fish brain. LTE. Oh, yeah. So there's some decent size out here. All right, cool. Catch is logged all around this place. That's uh, sometimes just what you need. If you're in one of those major urban areas, that fish brain app can be real helpful. You can actually see what people are catching the fish on in your area, which is pretty cool. Some folks will showcase the baits they're using, the colors they're using, uh, where they caught them in the pond. And it's just real informational for newer anglers as well as people like myself just trying to see exactly what's going on at a spot I've never fished. So keep that app in mind. Today's vid is not sponsored by Fishbrain, but it is a helpful tool. I got good news and bad news. Uh, <laughs> as soon as I posted that I was at this pond on my story, Andrew Wright recognized the place and said he's fished here over 20 times and caught one bass. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we're not at the right spot, but I asked him if there's any good spots down the street. I'm going to continue walking it and uh, at least hit a little bit more, make it to this corner and maybe a little bit around the edge here before I decide to make a move. Dang, I do have a lipless crankbait. Here we go. Just what I was looking for. Sexy Shad was one of my early confidence colors in fishing. I probably threw a square bill just like this before Guggen Squad announced these baits. I literally always had one tied on like the whole first year in fishing. I lost so many square bill crankbaits and ponds. Well y'all, I just had to snap off that crankbait. I got snagged on the rope that connects to the fountain. Now we're trying something else now. Hmm. Yeah, let me throw this guy out right here. All right, here we go. Shaky head time. Sometimes when you got that nice rock bottom, you just chunk one of these bad boys out. Snagged again. We just lost another bait back to back. Snag city in this pond. What is going on? This is a good way to break off your baits without messing up your reel. You never want to, when you're snagged, pull against your reel's drag. 
not good for the reel. Also, you don't want to be jamming your rod. You could snap your rod too if you really put enough tension on it. So I've got the line wrapped around the pliers a few times, and I'm just going to walk straight back until this thing breaks off. Because this, woo! Tell you what, you're going to lose some baits fishing the banks if you come to this place. Watch your back. All right, there we go. We're opting for the finesse jig. We might just burn through the whole tackle box in today's video. But coming up on the point, this could be the hot spot of the entire lake. This spot is not doing it. Let's make a quick move down the street. Subreddit called Wall Street Bets. Okay, I'm just listening to some Joe Rogan GameStop goodness on the uh, Wall Street deal. And Dude, I, I don't know, they probably said that. Whoop! I seem to have passed by a beautiful golf course pond on the way to the spot I was gonna fish, which we'll probably still make it to because I bet as soon as I get out of this car, I get kicked out of this place. Okay, well, I'm still here. Time to fish. Plenty of people out having fun on the course today. I feel like I need a membership to be here. Nothing yet, it's been about five minutes. I might need to work this a little bit slower. Ah, well, nothing on the course today. Let's move it down a little bit. Ow. I'm gonna break out the ghost. This one's a pretty clear water spot if I remember correctly. I've caught a bunch of chatterbait fish here. Damn, this spot is looking real clear. I'm on a mission to catch a fish on this thing in the ponds. I know something will bite it. Good, how are you? Wonderful. I'm gonna say you must live over here if you're on that side of the fence. No. Well, I left my camera over here. I'm, I'm just uh, filming a video. The fence was open over there. Cool, well, I'll go hit that place. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. No love for the big bait over here. I've been throwing it every chance I get though. Look at all that hook rash on the side of this thing. We need to actually get a bite. I don't really care if I get skunked or not. It's been slow anyway, so if I'm gonna try and get one or two fish, I'd rather try and catch something on this bait right here. Hey, okay, we rolled up to the next spot. This actually looks pretty clear. Might be able to draw a big fish in from a little ways away. I got one more rod in my backpack. So I brought the DRT Ghost and then I have got a Texas rig. <laughs> Nothing along the whole bank line of fishable publicness. Don't want to be stepping on the private property. So let's fish this little thing down here. I'm dedicated to throwing this a lot, but but wait till springtime with some clear water and we're going to get some fish on this thing. This one's off limits? Okay. A big kind of like parkish area. I'll look for it. And I like your car. Hey, I appreciate that. Woo, we getting kicked out today. All right, let's try and make it across the street and see what's up. He said there's a park over here. I'm trying to find it. We have found the park and look at all these large catches here. Let's go. I think it's time to switch it up one more time to a lipless crankbait. This is, yes, a clutch inside of a rattlebot case. We have thrown weedless swim baits, jigs, Texas rigs, big baits, square bill crankbaits, the click bait. I mean, we have thrown just about everything but a drop shot and these fish are being tricky. I'm choosing this color right here because as the sun is going down less light i want a color that pops i want some noise i'm trying to go for something completely different here and if you start off with a snag on your seat that's the way to rock and roll right there okay got it off the seat now it's on the bag bag secured this is a joke what is going on today ladies and gents it's time i mean everyone's talking about regulating robin hood or regulating this is that your take a hundred percent you know everyone's baffled all the time like me in today's video, man. These fish are acting up. It is winter time, but no excuses. Maybe we'll have better luck tomorrow. Stay tuned. Don't even subscribe at this point. It's not even worth it. <gasps>